Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We are going to actually start playing an, a new one. Yes, I said it. We're going to start playing another new game. The other ones I'm playing aren't that popular, so we'll just go with this. Yeah, I don't care, autosave is whatever. already said that. Like, it keeps, honestly, the annoying thing about this version or something, it keeps on prompting you. <clears throat> Awake at last. Oh, she says it. That's not creepy at all. Okay, the brother. The Infinity Gauntlet and Final Fantasy, what the heck? <laughs> the sister. Ugh. Oh wow. One thing about Square Enix is it uh they always kinda of blow it out of the park with their backgrounds. Maybe their character design is great. Maybe that's just PlayStation 4 in general though, because I'm used to con classic consoles. Oh that's why it's all dreamy. Gotcha. Cause it's a dream. Oh no, and then that's when you like out of your bed. Ah! <laughs> that happens to me all the time. I gots to get paid. Dun, 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 down. Wonder what. It, hey, there's a a moogle behind there. Must be a plushy moogle. <clears throat> Finally, one game actually utilizes that. Okay, we have to get to some place before someone's late. Okay. Care. Where the heck am I? Mm, coffee. Is there a sprint? Come on! Mm, this must be it. <clears throat> Meh, what the heck? Need to get to North Promenade. What is the, where is everybody? Hey, there's a Starbucks. Hashtag didn't say that. <laughs> Go to the other one. No, the other planned. 
totally is. I'm just saying that's a complete ripoff. Counter section, 100%. Okay. Hmm. What the? What the heck? Whoa. Uh, you can stop with the sugar any time there, bud. Yeah, with like 20 sugars, of course it's going to be just syrup. What? Thinking about coffee, I could use one. Hey, stacking stuff. What do you do with those? Are they mini games? Hmm. So that's a fake name. Yeah, tell me about it. Okay.
Huh? <laughs> what the heck? Ouch, three cubes in my teeth. These are toxic too, I wouldn't be eating that. But if you need to, you know you need to, right? It's all good. Yeah. My damn cup of coffee, boy. Stack. Oh, I don't. Do you do something with those? Oh, by the way, I have a different controller. Check that bad boy out. Oh, yeah. Versus the Spidey Red. Ow. Donk. Ow. Smash. Ow. Gosh. What the heck? So they're just a mirage? That's a play on words, isn't it? Because literally, they're not there then? So, so no one was there? How does this peep? How does this one other girl in this thing, fox floaty thing, see a <laughs> a mirage? Oh, mirage is a summon. Got it. Cool. Right into combat. He changed colors. Infinity Gauntlet. A uh, different one. It sounds like uh, I can't remember the name at the moment. It's a DC character. Uh, crap! It's a cartoon show too, and I, I watch it even though I don't like DC much. Get ready! It's time to battle. Characters take turns based on agility. The faster a character, the sooner they get to act. See that long thin bar? Uh, okay. Each face represents a different character. So that's that's the time meter. All right. Okay. And switch between characters who are ready to act. Moving left and right, okay. <sighs> Assigning button shortcuts to abilities. The action you can take in battle is are called abilities. Abilities are mapped to circle, triangle, uh, square, and X. Just press the button to use that ability. If uh, <laughs> if a target is chosen for you, uh, you the target is chosen for you automatically. The target is chosen for you automatically, so you can speed through combat simply and easily with these shortcuts. Abilities are assigned to two buttons automatically in the order you learn them, but you can also customize your shortcuts via the game menu. Find the setup that works best for you, and we'll probably just use the stock one that comes in. Action points. Certain commands like magic and other abilities cost AP action points. To use character to use character recover characters recover AP when their turn comes around or by successfully exploiting an enemy's weakness. The more powerful the command, the more AP it requires. Most mirages have weaknesses you can exploit for bonus and damage and AP. Discovering them will give you a huge advantage, so don't be afraid to try things out. <clears throat> there goes that time meter. That thing is just about to attack.
how good it shows when it's almost done. Three active battle modes, active, semi-active, and wait. In wait mode, time stops until you input a command for the character whose turn is up. This gives you a chance to carefully consider. You can change the battle mode via the config menu. If you find active battle mode too challenging, try sticking to us with wait until you have grown more accustomed to combat. Now I'm good. <clears throat> Press L1 to open a more complete list of commands. Okay. There are f uh, some commands, for example, items that can be only accessed through the full menu. Okay. <clears throat> so it's L1. You can pick up and choose your targets. We're using the full menu. This comes in handy when you want to control one more control over the fight. Alright. Your guru. Cool, we know his name. The Tussle. Cool. Hmm, it's a little bit confusing. No, I want to go the other. No! No! Yeah, I guess we'll save. Okay. What server is it uploading to? I'm confused about that. The heck is Land of the Lilikin? <clears throat> the Wellspring Woods. <laughs> no way. <laughs> 
Lilican and giants. Okay. The Grimoire in Grimoire the smaller people are called Lilican. The taller people are called giants with a J and not a G. The twins can switch freely between these forms. Okay, L1 and circle L1 square. Okay. Although you're free to strut around as either size, you will start combat in your current form, so it's never a bad idea to have stacks set up for both situations. Okay. Tapping into the tip jar. What? The tips you see in these panels are never out of reach. You can view them again by selecting the tip jar. No. I slapped a few extra tidbits in there, so don't avoid. Nah. Maybe I'll look at it. Not now, though. Okay, so let's see. We'll, we'll go back to the Lilican form. So there's this thing here. Okay, a little extreme for just that, but... Hmm. the heck? In order to imprison a mirage, you'll need an empty prism. Compatible with that mirage, but there's some good news. I'll provide you with your first compatible prism whenever you encounter a new mirage. Okay. Just fork out the whole lot of them right now. Come on, where's the fun in that? Besides, she doesn't do bulk orders. The heck? You'll be able to befriend almost every mirage you meet eventually, but be sure to take the time to get to know your friends you have before looking for new ones. Odd. Very odd. Once a prism holds an, a mirage, it is known as a prismarium. A mirage's prismarium allows you to use a mirage in battle. If you look closely at the prismarium, you can see a miniature world inside. Like They're like snow globes. Don't try and shake them. Oh, there's another stuff. Mirage data and Libra ability. If you press the options button, turn the game. Okay. The window will open containing info on the mirages you're facing the Libra ability. Okay. Switch between mirages. Element status. Strong or weak. Ice, fire, blah, blah. Sleep slow. Blindness, death. No. Okay. Status ailments, positive and negative changes in battle, triggered by abilities. Invasion down, up, okay, okay.
<laughs> Creating a prison tunity. You can't just walk up to Mirage's in imprisonment. To collect a Mirage, you'll need to knock. They'll need to knock it into the prison community. Prison tunity. Prison. Oh my god, prison tunity stayed first. Mirages won't let their guard down forever, so don't miss a prison tunity when it arrives. Sometimes all you'll need to create a prison tunity is a big heavy club, but the brute force approach doesn't always work. Try putting the club down and thinking outside the box, probably using magic. Prison, prison tunity requires a very. from mirage to mirage, but Libra can often provide you with a good hint. yours to the keep. Poop, poop, poop. Okay. Huh? I can see the Toka chick running around in the prismarium. Should I stack? <clears throat> when you stack with mirages, that the stats such as an H, as HP, all the stack members are combined. Your abilities may also transform. Stacking with the right body can give you access to new powerful skills and magic. You're always more powerful in a stack than you are fighting apart, but there is also a downside. Weaknesses are also shared among the whole stack, which can get you into trouble. You can use a stack setup screen to choose which mirages will fight alongside you, or is it top of you? Okay. You should set up stacks for both your forms, Lilikin and Giant. That way you're ready for battle no matter what size you're using to explore. A stack can be up to three members high. There's only one simple rule. Smaller goes on top of bigger. Try it out and you'll get the hang of it in no time. Okay. Oh, okay. In your stack, large goes on the bottom, medium goes in the middle, and small goes on the top. Easy, right? When Rain and Lan are, are L-sized giants, Mirages will always stack above them. Sorry, no zeros. But when the twins are M-sized, Lilikins, things get a little crazy. Suddenly they can ride on top of large-sized Mirages and put the small mirage on top of their heads at the same time. Okay. Uh, 
Tak. Board. Okay. Oh my god, this is so complicated. Each Mirage has its own Mirage Board, a special chart that's packed with new powers and potential. Abilities, stats, abilities, stats boost. Each space on the board holds a new surprise. You can unlock the spaces using the SP skill points your Mirages earn when they level up. Some spaces on the Mirage Board can cannot be unlocked until you meet special conditions, but with little work. They're all within reach. Learn Stroll as the ability will appear alongside Rain and Land in the field, so you can explore Gyrum, Gymor, Grimoire together. Blah. If you are accompanied by multiple Mirages with the Stroll ability, you can cycle between them. Sometimes strolling Mirages will discover useful items. Try bringing Mirages to different places. You'll be surprised. I found something. Now we have to go examine the golem.
Oh well. Sweet potions, you could always use those. Didn't even listen. What a chump. Mercury, scary but true. Are home to strange, rare, and usually very dangerous mirages. If you want to explore one, make sure that you're fully prepared. Tough for you to handle when you first find them. If you do end up getting warmed, come back later You'll after you've gotten a bit stronger. Okay, so you can just come back, whatever. When the party has fallen, when the, party, uh, when the entire party has been defeated, Temo will take everyone back to the safety of the Nine Woods Hill. There is no penalty, but you will have to fight your way back to where you were. Be careful though, if you are inside the threshold of a powerful mirage, Temo won't be able to save you and it's game over. If you're inside the, power, if you're inside the threshold of a powerful mirage... Okay.
Oh yes. We are 100% going to the save. Why does it do that? Well anyways, if you like what you saw, don't forget to like, comment, and definitely subscribe. Take care. Take it easy.